Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. New games on classic consoles. But today we're not going to be looking at any games. Today we're going to be looking at books about games. And this first one is from a friend of the show, Brian Mather. As you can see behind me on my wallpaper, who's also known as Arena Foot on the Atari Age forums. And he has put a book out about homebrew games. I think it's the first book ever written about homebrew games and published, you know, in solid book form. So let's dig into it and take a look. Now he put out two versions of this book, a black and white and a color. And this one, it was the first one he put out, the black and white one. So let's take a look. There we go. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 1 by Brian Mathern, forward by Michael Thomason. The Atari 2600 is alive and well with new games being released all the time through the power of Homebrew, written by Brian Mathern, the owner and curator of the most comprehensive Atari 2600 Homebrew list on the internet. Yes, he maintains a very comprehensive list, the list of Atari 2600 homebrew games. And if you wanna know every single game that has ever been put out or not put out, or put on cartridge or released as a ROM, that's the list you wanna to go to. And also, another package. This is from Lulu, and I was alerted to it, I think, through Facebook. So let's take a look at this one. Now this one is the Stella programmer's guide so it's not exactly new actually let me get this wrap off it's probably giving you a bit of reflection there we go the 1979 stella programmer's guide by steve wright contains the essential documentation and technical specifications of the atari 2600 hardware all 2600 game developers should have this guide on their shelf reconstructed by charles sinnett uh, in 1993 and optimized for printing by Dion Olsthorn in 2018. If you have ever programmed for Atari 2600, you have seen this uh, programmer's guide in on the internet in text form or on, an, on a web page. But so somebody has put it into very convenient book form to be able to be referenced at any moment right beside you without having to switch away from the window you're working on. Very nice. Now the first thing that strikes you when you take a look at the Homebrew Companion Volume 1 is the beautiful cover. It's a combination of Halo 2600, Conquests of Mars, and Spies in the Night, the little light lighthouse at the bottom corner there. Um, it really gives you a nice visual introduction to homebrew video games. Inside it gives you also a introduction to what homebrew games are from not only the foreword by Michael Thompson, Thomason, uh, but also uh, by Brian himself. He doesn't really give a score, but he gives a complete rundown of each game from a basic description of it to basic release notes, you know, how big the game is, what kind of controls are used for it, how many players, whether it's one player or a two-person game, whether it was just released as a ROM or it actually came out on a physical cartridge, who it was released through, uh, tells you how to play the game and all the options, all the different variations of the game, how scoring is done and how to move around and you know the basics of it. And then he gives a conclusion, not a rating, not a one to five star, not an A to an F, but just kind of a summary of uh, what he thinks is good in the game so that you can get a really good idea if you would like the game or not. One of the really good parts of this book is actually the strategy section of each of the games. Because some of these, especially the ones that were only released on ROM, it's a little hard to find all of the information about the game in one place. Like if you go to the forums and there is discussion about the game as it was being developed, it's really hard to find and piece together all the different places where you can find information about the game. But this really summarizes how 
to play the game, how to do well in the game, all the different ways you can play it, and uh, how to get better at the game. The graphics in here are great. It usually includes a, a shot of the intro screen, if there is one, a shot of gameplay, and also a shot of box art or the artwork on the cartridge itself to give you a good idea of what the game actually looks like as well and the layout of the game screen so it gives you a really good idea of what you're in store for when you are going to be looking for maybe a game that you'd like to buy now the game selection he has put in the book is really good it's a nice cross section of old games going way back to the very first homebrews all the way up to new homebrews that have been released and even further to work in progress homebrews as well and i guarantee you're going to find one that you like because there's shooters there's platformers there's maze games there's puzzle games so it's going to cover all the different genres that everybody likes if you remotely even like Atari 2600 games, and obviously if you're buying this book, you love Atari 2600 games, and you've played to death every game that has been released in the old school set of games, and now you're looking for some new ones. And this will give you a whole bunch of new ones, and you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be running out of money <laughs> pretty quick, because you're gonna find a lot that you're gonna like. So obviously I give this a huge high recommendation. It's a really good comprehensive book that really runs through and gives you a really good overview of what homebrew is like today. And I can see myself referencing this on my own channel while doing my Let's Plays because it's really convenient to just flip open to the page and find out all the information I need to play the game and even some history to give out to my, uh, to my watchers about what, how the game was developed and who made it and, you know, all the basics of the game. Even more than the basics, actually. Strategy, points, all the things that you ever wanted to know about the game. You don't even need the manual for, that comes with the game. Uh, if you have this book, that's for sure. Um, so it's really, really convenient, especially if you're downloading the ROMs and trying them out, because it's a little bit hard to get all the information gathered uh, from the forum posts during the development of the game. Um, so this is really, really handy guide. I give it an A plus for sure. Definitely go out and pick it up in either the black and white form or in the color form if you want some pretty pictures. Definitely a must buy. So the second book we're looking at today, Stella Programmer's Guide. Now this documentation has been around in various forms since 1979. It was converted into text and then HTML and then PDF. And now it's finally in a book. Now it gives you all the basic information about what you need to know to program Atari 2600 VCS. Make your own games. It doesn't go in depth. It stays to the basics, but it will get you through making a game. Now it does make some assumptions that you do know how to program assembly code. So it's not going to teach you assembly code, but it's going to teach you all the parts of a 2600 that you need to know to make these games. Now if you've started programming for the Atari 2600 VCS, you've probably already ran across this book. Well not this book in fact, but the PDF that this book came from. It can be a little unwieldy having it on your screen without a nice handy reference guide to look at. Now you can flip to a page and keep it open while you're uh, programming and it even gives really nice diagrams and lays it out in a nice readable format. Now the layout of this book is really great especially right at the back the write address summary and the read address summary it lays it all out there with the 6-bit address, the address name, and it tells you what the functions do. And it even um, gives it to you in binary as well. Um, it's a really handy reference guide for if you need something at a glance. Admittedly, this is building on the shoulders of other people who have brought this up through iterations and cleaned it up. Um, but there's some really great graphics in here, really clean, uh, about uh, the registers, uh, collision detections, the audio circuits, the input ports, and really gets in depth and shows you how 
the VCS really operates in terms of w the actual wiring of the machines itself. So it gives you a really in-depth look at what's actually going on inside the machine while you're running the programs. Now the formatting of this book is really nice. Nothing carries over mid-paragraph onto another page. It's really, really clean. It's, a, it's actually a joy to read and would actually be, I think, interesting for even non-programmers. People who are really want to know about what goes in to a game, what, how, how the 2600 ticks, I think it would give them a lot more appreciation of what these, what these programmers, the, the homebrew programmers or the programmers back in the day have to do to get what their ideas out of their head onto the screen and what they really had to work with these basics of really drawing real time what's happening on the screen and being able to pull this out of this simplistic basic machine that was made from the, the simplest parts back in the late 70s uh, i think it would give really a really good appreciation of you know the struggles that even programmers nowadays have to go through to be able to pull the best out of this 40 plus year old machine so would i recommend this book yes um but it's not for everyone it's definitely for programmers and it's definitely for people who have an interest in what what goes into making programs for the 2600 it's very uh it's obviously comprehensive for the basics and it will get you started on your path to programming the 2600 and it's really well laid out and it's very inexpensive he has put this book on lulu press for no money no profit i mean obviously it costs money to print but so it's very very inexpensive to order so i would just go ahead and order it just to have it around and um so i would definitely recommend it it's obviously not for everyone but if you're watching this channel it is probably for you so i might be a little bit biased uh because i do chat with these guys all the time but I am giving a recommendation for both of these books for anybody who has an interest in programming or homebrew games or wants to buy homebrew games, wants to make homebrew games. I would go out and get them. Very inexpensive with the black and white uh, volume one homebrew companion volume one. And it's also really inexpensive for the programming guide. And uh, they're available right now. This one's on Amazon. This one's on Lulu Press. You can find the links below. So thanks for tuning in and make sure you hit all the buttons down below and we're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. You can find the links in the description below so that you don't miss any updates or any uh, Let's Plays or all the rest of that. So I will definitely see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew.